My two-year-old daughter loves seaweed snacks. If you don't know what a seaweed snack is, it's like seaweed pressed into like a little paper, like a little cracker, and you just eat it, right? And there are three types of people, or three types of reactions from different people. The first type of reaction are people who are disgusted by it. Ew, seaweed, right? The second type of person is someone who's like intrigued, like seaweed. I'm game, I'm, I'll, I'll try it, right? If it's good enough for your two-year-old daughter, it's good enough for me. And three are people who love seaweed snacks. They're like, oh, I love it. You know what I mean? And so cryptocurrency is somewhat the same way, especially with some of these newer projects. You could either be totally repulsed by it. You could be interest, interested and try it out and see if it's for you or not. And three, you could be totally for it. And in this project, or rather in this video, we're going to go over a new project called Croge Coin. It's a meme coin. It's a community coin. And in this uh, video, I'm going to be going over the, their DAP, their applications, the chart, and the community. I'm going to go over how to buy it, you know, a little, little things, you know, around it. And I'm going to go over my thoughts on whether or not you should buy it or not, or whether if I'm going to buy it or not, okay? If you're new to this channel, my name is Aaron. I'm going to journey to my next Bitcoin while helping you to your next Bitcoin. Not your financial advisor, just a lizard brain cowboy exploring the wild west of cryptocurrency with a whole bunch of other cowboys. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button. Give us a like on it if you are feeling the content, if, you want to feel, if you're want feeling generous, you want to just help out the channel. Or leave a comment down below if it's something, if you like me covering these types of projects, okay? Before I get too far into this video, I am being compensated for it, but this is like the best source. Of, well, not I don't think it's the best source of it, but I feel like I am doing my full due diligence. And you're going to see some very interesting things here, something that's very surprising about their DAP. And, um, you know, I'm just going to make my just unbiased review and judgment. I'm not trying to shill you a coin here. This is not my intention, but I am going to go over this project. And I mean, just looking at it. It's a meme coin, you know? What do you want from me? Like, <laughs> I'm not looking, I'm not finding the next chain link. I'm finding what would pe people would, the the in, the in, uh, the investor who's thinking about this is trying to find out if I get in now, will more people buy into it so I could get out later? And then I need to figure, I need to make sure that I am making a percentage profit on it. So, it, I mean, like, it is what it is. It's an open source, peer-to-peer, -peer, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a community coin, right? It's on the Kronos blockchain, which we'll go over in a little bit. It's a, it's a, it's basically um, Crypto.com's blockchain, and uh, yeah, so the, you know, it's on the Kronos blockchain. Community focus and stealth launched, um, and so we're gonna go over how to buy. But one thing I want to go over is the tokenomics, seven percent tokenomics. This right now is, uh, you know, kind of a little alarming to me, honestly. You don't, in my opinion, you don't need a five percent marketing um, thing. Uh, that's a lot. Five percent marketing is a is a lot to allocate to mar marketing, especially when a liquidity pool is only one percent, and then uh, the team gets one percent after every transaction. So that's that's a lot, right? Like that doesn't to me that doesn't scream community. That screams like for the team, honestly. And mar I mean, like I don't know. You know what I mean? Like the whole thing here is is trying to bet on whether or not other people will buy this more or not. You know what I mean? And so here we're gonna go into their, their they have a they have a Crow's coin app here, okay? And so they have portfolio tracker, rug tracker. We'll go through all this really quickly. Um, if you go through the multi chart, you basically put in your token address here, and you could see multiple multiple charts here all lined out together in one like display. If I had a wider display here, you could see all four of them kind of lined out at the same time. This one is a uh, buy crypto with fiat. and kind of uses just MetaMask and kind of, uh, and, and it's just the same thing with that. This one is kind of interesting. Like I was able to put in the tokens, the contract addresses in here, but they're not giving me the prices or anything, right? It's only just giving me for Croge. They're not even giving me percentage, 24 hour percentage change or seven day percentage change, which is, uh, I'm not sure what's going on there. It's not even uh, fully fully done here. They have a, they have a, uh, they have a swap and really they're just sourcing the APIs from this or something, right? Like this is MMF, Mad Meerkat Finance. And so you're just trading on MMF right now, Mad Meerkat Finance. And then they've got this, which is called the rug checker, okay? And so this is interesting, right? This is what's so funny. I'm gonna take the contract address and I'm gonna put it in the uh, rug checker here, okay? And then if I hit go, it, it brings it up, which is already here. If I hit rug checker, it comes back with a 15 out of 100 on its own rug checker. I'm like, what? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? How is your own, how is your own rug checker, your own application, giving you a 15% on your own coin out of 100? I mean, look, it's red, right? I mean, like, no similar contracts, ownership re not, uh, renounced, it's not renounced, uh, adequate liquidity present. This is very bad. 
This is very bad, especially when your own rug checker is giving you a 15 out of 100. To me, that's huge red flags. The, look, they, 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 this, the only thing you'll find on here are reviews, honest, unbiased reviews, no promos, and this is exactly what I'm finding. I'm finding their app is, is not working with this, right? And I'm, I'm finding that their own rug checker is giving you a 15 <laughs> That's like, that's like if you were grading your own test and you gave yourself a 50 out of 100. They could, it's like crazy. I mean, I don't, I don't know what to say to that. Um, so, I mean, I do know what to say. That's, that's very bad. I mean, if you want my honest opinion, that's very bad. Like what, how, how is that possible? Uh, if we continue on like the community, they've got 30, 303 followers on Twitter, which is nothing. 800 subscribers, which is nothing. 12 subscribers on YouTube. They have no posts. I, I mean, they're putting up these, these, these social channels, and yet they're not doing anything with it. Uh, they've got 640 holders or addresses. Now, that could be a misnomer because they could spread those out with an automatic, like, uh, airdropper. Or they could pe be people who genuinely buy in. I mean, it's, it's, it's certainly a mixture of both of them. One thing that was alarming, though, is that a number of them have 3% holdings in this token. Or, you know, one, two, three of these have... Um, yeah, three percent of these token, over three percent, which is very, very a lot. I mean, that's like nine percent of the total token supply. So that's that's a lot. Now, if you want to buy this, you're going to look at the charts here, and the charts on the four hour looks like it to be a little bit on the high end. Of course, they just launched um, six days ago, and so we're on the four hour chart here, and you can see this kind of like spiking coming down and you know coming back up here. Now, am I going to make a price prediction on this? I have no idea, right? You, you have no idea. 9% it, of it is held by the old holders, right? There's not enough liquidity. So I have no idea what can do. And this is by, this is by what I found on, on paper here. So 9% of the total supply is held by three people, by three wallets. It could be one person by three wallets. And then the rug checker said that it's inadequate liquid, liquidity. It's like crazy. I don't know. Now, but if you do want to buy it, if, if you're still unconvinced, like if I'm not convincing you either way, this is the Kronos uh, chain, which is probably the most redeeming quality of it because I didn't even know Kronos had its own chain. If you don't know Kronos, it's, it's basically Crypto.com's uh, personal app. Think Binance, like Binance having the, having the Binance smart chain. I think of it like Crypto.com. This is like lizard brain terms, right? It's probably more complicated than this, but Crypto.com has Kronos, okay? And so Kronos... The mainnet beta is now live, and they're, so they're, what the, the deal is, Croge uh, is trying to have the Doge of Kronos, right? It's just Croge and Doge. You're going to need Elon Musk to tweet this. I mean, they're going to need a whole bunch of stuff. Doge has been around for a very long time, and so it's not, it's not exactly the same. But if you do want to set it up, and if you do want to buy, you just have to get a MetaMask wallet, okay? And then right now, I'm on the Ethereum mainnet, and what you have to do is you have to add the Kronos mainnet to your MetaMask. And this is the stuff. So just go ahead and pause this video um, and or this will be in the description. You can just type in like in um, Google on how to add this. And this will be in the description. Um, add Kronos, add all these things to your MetaMask. And so now you'll have it on your like this MetaMask thing. Now, if you want to buy this, there's a couple different ways to buy it. The first way you could buy it is if you have crypto.com, just take USDT, USDC, and send it to your MetaMask, and then you could go to MM Finance and then buy it there, right? So from crypto.com, send that money, send USDT or USDC to your MetaMask, and then from MetaMask, then you go to um, MMF, okay? MM.finance, and it's the swap. It's basically the pancake swap of, of Kronos. Um, but if you don't do that, if you don't have crypto.com or you use that, which of course I do. And so if you want to, if you want to use my referral link, you can do that down there. We both get 25 bucks for it, but still, you know, it's, it's nothing. The other way to do it is to bridge. Okay. Now I'm going to show you how to bridge. It's pretty easy. All you have to do is go to bridge.evodefi.com. Okay. Very safe site, very trusted. Okay. And so I'm going to connect my MetaMask here. Okay. Boop. We're connecting this MetaMask. Uh, there we go. MetaMask. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm on. Okay, so now I got to switch from my MetaMask from Binance Smart Chain, and you can't see exactly what's happening here. So I'm gonna there. I switch my Binance Smart Chain, and I'm gonna go to Kronos, right? So I'm switching from to, and I'm picking Kronos right there. Okay, and so there's a whole bunch here. This is just a standard bridge, and if you don't know, you know how to find it, Kronos. It, it's already in there. So yeah. And then you select the token, USDC, USDT, or ETH. 
USDC. And make sure this is your wallet address, okay? Make sure that's the same amount of wallet address and you add up your USDC or USDT. So make sure this is a very, this is very important. You're gonna make sure this is yours, okay? If you mess that up, then you're, then you send it to someone else. When you have that, you should have that in your MetaMask wallet. Connect your wallet here in MM Finance, okay? Um, connect that wallet here to mmfinance.swap and you should be able to switch from Crow to Croge, okay? Boom. Or from Crow, you could do USDT, USDC, just making sure that was no step skip those two different ways. Remember, you could either send the money straight to your MetaMask from crypto.com or just bridge it over using Evo. Uh, sorry, bridge.evodefi.com. Okay, so uh, what do I think about this project here? <laughs> this is like so silly. Look, I think it's, I, I don't know. I, I, that's not good. I'll tell you that much. It's not good. Why? And I'll list it out. Your own rug checker says there's low liquidity. Um, the community, I, I feel like the community needs to be huge. Like it's only, it's less than a thousand people. Very small, less than a thousand holders, less than a thousand Twitter. It's extremely small. So it's extremely early. If you're one of those people who wants to buy in, buy in with like 10 bucks. You know what I mean? Like if you're something that you really, you're not even going to bat an eye that it's gone because in the future, this could be something like massive. But how long did it take Dogecoin to reach where it is today? Like it used to be like that was like six years ago, maybe seven, eight years ago. Uh, and so, I mean, it's up to you if you want to get into this. I'm, I'm not your financial advisor. I, it's not for me. Um, and for all for all those reasons, the app doesn't even work. The um, and I don't know why, like the, the tracker app, it's not working. It's own rug checker, low liquidity, the low, um, the low, uh, you know, volume and stuff like that. It's, it's just, it's just not for me. However, I, I am interested in the Chrome's chain. So that's the only redeeming quality I have of it for right now. It's like, if you want to get in a chain early, cause I don't think crypto.com is going anywhere. This, I mean, boy, crypto.com is not going anywhere. They just bought like the LA Lakers stadium. They're the number, they're one of the big, they're the biggest uh, sponsor in the UFC, the biggest sponsor in F1, F1 racing. Yeah, I mean like, it's, it's awesome. So they're really staking their bet. If you're making a bet on Crows, you're making a bet on crypto.com in the end, in my opinion. Anyway, that's just what I think. I mean, like, what the heck do I know? You know what I mean? I just got a lizard brain, but I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.